jingle bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells jingle bells jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse horse horse. Jingle bells. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Love Charms World. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you are subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subs uh, to turn on the post notification so that you could be alerted as to when I post my videos because I'm trying to be consistent and start posting back every Sundays. So anyways, let's get right into the video. So this week I was supposed to do a little bit of vlogging, however, I didn't get to do any type of vlogging because these the trips have been crazy and there have been delays and I got in late and I was tired so I just couldn't uh, do it. So decided to make a video about secrets that passengers don't know. So one of the main uh, secrets that passengers don't know. Flat attendants are there for your safety, okay? Yes, we are there for your safety. We're not there for to just give you cookies and like peanuts. We're not there to only give out peanuts and cookies. In case of an emergency, we're your doctors, firefighters, we're anything you could think of. Like we are there primarily for your safety and giving out food and, and drinks is only a courtesy. It really is a courtesy. And a lot of passengers really just don't know that, which, you know, I don't blame you guys. That's what you guys always come on board and see us doing anyways. So yes, we are there primarily for your sake. Another one is we are not there to put your bags up in the overhead bin. I know. We're not there for that. We're, we're there, we, we can assist you with your bags, but we're not supposed to help you, like, we're not supposed to, like, take up your whole heavy bags and, like, put it in the overhead space. We can assist you, however, you know? Because anything could go wrong. You don't want us to get lifting up your bag and then we get hurt on the job, you know what I mean? So that's what a lot of passengers don't know and I'm here to tell you that we could assist with the bag but we're not supposed to like physically like take up the bag and put it in the overhead space another one is we don't do upgrades when you come on board well particularly my airline so the gate agent will have to do your upgrades outside you pay for he or she to upgrade you when you come on board we have first class comfort plus and then main cabin and a lot of passengers like come on board and complain when like everybody's seated in the back and nobody's sitting in comfort plus we're not supposed to upgrade you to comfort plus because it's it's you have to pay extra to sit in those seats just like first class you got to pay extra to sit in those seats and sometimes we have flights well i have had flights where the back is full and then comfort plus is like empty and they're like moving themselves up and i have to tell them they have to go back to their correct seats because these are upgrade seats and then they get all fussy and start cussing me out and saying why can't i sit there and i have to explain to them that it's upgrade seats because i've had when i just started i was working with someone and they uh, they put somebody in that seat and a passenger that was sitting in comfort plus was, was like why is it that i'm paying extra when when why am i paying extra to sit in these seats if you're gonna upgrade people you know what i mean so you kind of i get it like i understand you want to like sit closer and everything i get it the, up there is empty so why not let me just move into a space so i can sit by myself i get it but you cannot upgrade yourself well with my airline I'm not sure about other airline with my airline you can't upgrade yourself you gotta speak to the gate agent and get an upgrade or sometimes when we're finished boarding you could ask if like if you're sitting in comfort plus and there's an extra seat in first class you can ask if your name is next on the upgrade list to be updated to be upgraded to first class that's an option for you or if you're sitting in the main cabin and there's extra seat in comfort plus you could ask if your name is on the next upgrade list 
and then you could be upgraded by there with the um the get agents another one is you cannot bring your own bottle on the aircraft to drink because it's a safety issue and if you get drunk and intoxicated in fight we have to remove you and there's instance where passengers get a little bit too drunk and then we have to remove them before they even get on the flight so that's why when you see us standing there like greeting you and everything we're doing like a check to see if every the passengers are okay and if they're yeah, it's, yes, if they're okay to board and everything, we got to do, that's like us standing at the door is us like, you know, checking to see if everyone is safe to come on board. Yeah, but you cannot bring your own bottle to drink on the flight. You cannot do that. You can't drink your own liquor on the flight. We have to provide those liquor for you. And another thing is just because we provide you liquor, especially if you sit in first or comfort plus that does not mean that it's like uh what do you call what do you call it but yeah it's it's not like you could come and drink all it's not like an all you can eat buffet my well this is like drinking you can't drink all the time like all that you want you do actually have a limit as to how much we could give you so it's not like you could just keep ordering 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 i had to stop a passenger once because he kept like mix he mixed a lot of like he mixed he had wine beer and he was just mixing his liquor and he got real upset because i told him that was his last chance of getting any more liquor he got really upset even he, he, he ugh, tongue to his he even got um he even got up and tried to offer me money just to get uh, liquor and I had to tell him no. Like there is a limit. There is a limit. Don't be ashamed to ask him some more extra snacks, okay? Don't be ashamed to ask the extra snacks. Me personally, I like to give like two of each item to the passengers. And they're like, especially when I give out the cookies, oh my God, I give two each. To each customer and they're so happy they're like oh my god thank you so much this is my favorite cookie i actually fly this airline for the cookie i've heard that on multiple occasions that they fly with or airline because they are obsessed with the cookies <laughs> and i would like to say to the passengers like be mindful and be kind to your flight attendants because as i said before we are prim we're there primarily for your safety safety comes first with us so be kind to us because i've i've seen a few cus few passengers that are really mean to uh the flight attendants and it kind of makes the, the flight attendant feel bad within themselves that you're like treating them that way so please be mindful and be nice to the flight attendants because in case of an emergency we gotta save you okay we gotta save you you gotta you gotta be mindful and we're humans okay we're humans we're not robots so you gotta be nice to us and if you're mean we could kick you off the flight we could actually kick you off the flight like if we're flying we could land somewhere and take you off the flight okay or we could or if or if you're being rude we could turn back and bring you back to where you started we have no problem in doing that so be nice to the flight attendants okay is it that uh, passengers seems to blame us flight attendants for the delay like if there's weather or if there's mechanical issues you can't really blame us for those type of things it's natural you know what I mean so you can't really blame us for those things and when passengers come on board and they're like you know how long I've been waiting we've been delayed chances are that flight attendants it's probably been up from early this morning doing flights and that one flight is delayed or canceled and chances are it's their last day and they're going home and they're feeling like really kind of sad about that whole situation so you adding extra stress to that it's just not nice that's why i say be mindful of what you say and do to flight attendants okay and just because the flight delayed Remember, if it's uh, mechanical issues or weather or something, remember safety is first, okay? So don't be mad. Yes, I understand that you have to 
flight to catch because you're starting vacation and you're excited and everything but be mindful safety comes from but anyways, those are some little secrets that uh, some passengers may or may not have known about flying. And I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe, guys. I see you guys watching and you're not subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification bell. And if you have anything to say just comment down below or email me my email will be in the description box and you can also follow me on instagram at sweetest love charm and i hope you guys enjoy this video as i do video <laughs> video as i do and i love you guys for watching bye